So we've covered all of the manufacturing cost variances and now we'll take a look at one of the sales variances. So there might be many different sales variances but at this level for this year I only need to know the selling price variance. So let's look at an example to illustrate how to calculate the selling price variance. So we've got budgeted sales of 450,000 and that was for 9,000 units. And then we have actual sales of 550,000 and that was for an actual unit sold of 10,000. So we sold more units than what we budgeted for and our sales value is more than what we budgeted for. And it makes sense that it's more. But now we want to know, did we have a selling price variance? What difference was as a result of the price being higher or lower? So it could have been that the price was lower, but because we sold so many units extra, that's why the sales increased. And it's important to know um, what was the reason for this increase in sales. So part of that reason would be the selling price variance. So the selling price variance would be uh, we need to isolate the price. Remember, there's always only one difference. If we have more than one difference between the two elements we're trying to compare, then it's impossible to split it into its individual components. So now we want to isolate the sales price. So we need our actual price less our standard price, what we should sell it for multiplied by our actual quantity. So we want to know how much did we score or save and how many times did we save that specific value. So how many units did it apply to. So we first need to calculate our actual price and standard price. Our actual price would be our actual sales divided by actual units which is 55 per unit and our budgeted selling price would be the budgeted sales divided by budgeted units so that's 50 per unit and now we can calculate it so actual price per unit less standard price per unit so we can see here we scored five per unit that that would have increased our, our profit so we know it's going to be a favorable selling price variance it's because we sold it at a higher price than what we expected it to sell at how many times did we save or score this five per unit. So how many units did that saving apply to? It's the actual unit sold, 10,000. So that would give us a selling price variance of 50,000 and it's favorable because we sold it for more than what we expected. So we received more than what we, we would have received. Then there's also the, you might be asking, but why that doesn't explain the full difference between the two, the actual and the budgeted, because there's also a volume variance, but that's something you'll only um, have to calculate at a later level.